Okay, buddy. Be careful so you don't hurt him, okay? A concerned mother and son have an injured baby bird they rescued from their backyard. Hi. Hello. What's your name? Aiden. Aiden? Yeah. How you doing, Mama? You doing all right? Good. We're here today because we found a little baby bird that looked like it had a broken leg. So we wanted to bring it up here to get him checked out. Yeah. What we got going on here? Lala's playing outside. And our dog, he bit his leg from carrying him. And I grabbed the bucket and I tried to put him in the bucket. You saved him, though. Yeah. That's a good job. Well, that's a state bird. Did you get a name yet? Furry. We have a little brown thrasher named Furry. And the brown thrasher just so happened to be Georgia's state bird. I feel compelled to go above and beyond. Go Georgia. All right, so we need to check the baby out, don't we? His leg is broken in this wing. I need to give you a job. You think I can just go home? You got this thing all figured out, man. Huh? <laughs> Do you know what you give a sick bird? What? Tweetment. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the leg you're talking about, right? Yeah. It looks like this bird felt the nest, which is pretty common in this area this time of year. The wings look fine. This baby probably can't fly because of the underdevelopment of the wing, but it's definitely something wrong with this leg. We need to try to figure out if this thing is broken or not. So what do you think we need to do now? X-ray. I'm going home. It's your job. Thank you, man. Bye. 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 See, see you later, man. All right, Doc, let's huh? go. All right, so we're going to go back and take an X-ray, OK? Bye, Birdie. Once we take the picture, I'm going to come and get you, OK? OK. So we have Furry, and it's a very small little birdie. And that's a big deal, because small furry that's injured can be prey to other animals. What you see? Well, we fractured. You see right here? Mm-hmm. But the difficulty is we're not dealing with a lot. You know, it's very small. This leg is probably as large as a toothpick. It's not like we can just take it to surgery. This is a very dim outlook. If we can't fix this baby's broken leg, there's no way it can make it out in the wild. Poor thing, I'm sorry. He's a cute little bird. Yeah. But you know he's not a pet, right? Okay. All right, we're back. You ready to go on an adventure? Yeah. All right, let's go. Even though the x-rays are not great, it still gives me an opportunity to show Aiden what a broken leg look like, how we normally try to mend them back to health, and it's an opportunity to be educational. So this is your baby bird. The bone is broke, and it looks like this. Oh, that's what's wrong. Yeah, so you were right. It does have a broken leg. If there was a large bone, you know, we could put a pin in it, or we could put a plate on it or some kind of thing to repair it. But in this case, we're just going to take a little tape and put on there and try to hold it as best we can. Okay. All right. So we're going to give it some nursing care so we can get it back in the wild, okay? So it can fly and live with mommy and daddy. Okay. Okay? This is kind of like a little cast. Yeah. So we're going to keep this baby here. You can go back in the room now. As long as we can keep this bone together and opposing each other for a certain period of time, Mother Nature will do its job and heal. In this case, we're going to use bandaging material to try to make a splint. A little elastic bandage, gauze, and tape can go a long way. Like this thing? Thinner. Yep. Ooh, we're working small here, aren't we? Mm-hmm. I need to get a little higher if I can, because I can feel the break under my finger. All right. Put you back in your little home for tonight. Oh, he pooped. Hope that's not what he thinks about us. <laughs> right now, the outcome looks pretty good. We just take this thing day by day. Hello. We're back. What do you do with it once it's healed? Well, we have rehab facilities. OK. And then they'll take it from there. You did a great thing, man. I'm proud of you. What do you want to be when you grow up? Scientist or a vet? All right. You know what? I got something for you, man. Don't go anywhere, OK? OK. Aiden is such a cool young man. I found out he wanted to be a veterinary, and I have just the thing for him. So I wrote a children's book, OK? And it's called C is for Critter Fixer, just for you, to Aiden. So always follow your dreams. OK. All right. Here you go, young man. See all these awards you're going to get one day, we're going to practice. <laughs> all right. Good job, brother. What better gift to give to Aiden than my book? Hopefully, it inspires him to continue to want to become a veterinarian. And we'll keep you posted on how we're doing. Say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank all you, right. Dr. Ferguson. Yes. We do love animals. Aiden is a little animal person. He watches all kinds of animal shows. Yeah, it was cool that Dr. Ferguson wrote me a note. I think I would like to be a veterinarian. I want to work here. <laughs> we'll see. I'm proud of you, dude.